This will change how you think about your health forever. Insulin is a hormone. Glucose is your blood sugar. One of the main functions of insulin is to keep your blood sugar normal. Now keep listening. Even if you're not diabetic, this matters to you. Now whenever you eat food, that raises your blood sugar. And everyone's blood sugar raises differently. That's dependent on your age, activity, genetics, even your gut microbiome, which is the trillions of bacteria in your gut. So some people might eat something like that and have that. Some might even have that, and some might even have that. Regardless of how high your blood sugar went, your body has to release insulin to control the blood sugar. Now, some people might release that much insulin, some people might release that much, some people might release that much. This also matters on all the factors I mentioned before, like your genetics, lifestyle, body fat. So let's say you produce that much insulin to control your blood sugar. But now let's think about our modern food environment. We wake up, we have a high carb breakfast like bagels and cereal. Then we have a coffee with a snack. Then we have a lunch, which again raises our blood sugar. Then a snack, which again raises our blood sugar. So the insulin never really gets to come down. And it's staying high all the time to control your blood sugar. And your body adapts. Now that becomes your new normal insulin when before it's supposed to be here. And we keep eating these foods that spike our blood sugar, creating more insulin resistance. And now your new normal is here. But your sugar's been perfect all the time. And you go for your blood work, your A1C's perfect, your sugar's perfect. But you start experiencing all these symptoms, especially the cravings and the hunger. Because your body's not being able to burn fat for fuel. Because insulin is a fat storing hormone. So you're always tired, you start developing that belly fat, the skin pigmentation, and the skin tags. And this is more important than counting calories. That's what 150 calories of donuts does to your blood sugar, and that's what 150 calories of Greek yogurt does to your blood sugar. Unhealthy fats, sugars, refined carbs, healthy protein, no unhealthy fats. Here's what a bowl of rice does to your blood sugar. A bowl of rice with beans controls your blood sugar. This has more calories. If you've been struggling with your health or someone you know has been struggling, share this with someone, hit the follow and the like. Thank you for watching.